All right, here's the food, food vlog. I'm gonna be cooking a Florentine steak today. Just walk, walk into the grocery store. The butcher shop was closed. I don't really know why, but it was closed, so I couldn't go. I couldn't get the best meat, but I'll get the second best meat from the grocery store. Here is the steak we got, to be honest. Eh, it doesn't look that good, to be honest with you, but this is the best they got. This is the only one thing they got, so we'll make the most of it. Stick of butter. Of course, in Florence, Italy, you need your wine. So, I'm gonna be getting, oh, one dollar, perfect. Finally found my garlic. All right, sometimes in life, you mess up. And my wonderful roommate right here, Andrew Reed, pointed he out up. that this is pork. It's not steak, it's pork. So I, I guess we're, we're, making, we're pork. making pork. We're gonna season it like a Florentine steak. Oh, uh, might not be as good. Cook We're it. gonna make a Florentine pork. All right, so I'm gonna season this and cook this as a steak, basically. So my first actually seasoning is just this, this stuff. And then the second seasoning I'm gonna use uh, is garlic, salt, and pepper. And then I'm gonna cook it in some butter and olive oil. Actually, I'm gonna cook both of them in butter and olive oil. But one of them's gonna have like the pre-made seasoning and one of them's just gonna have salt, pepper, and garlic. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's okay. Time to deal with this. Got it down to a clove. Just cut the ends off. Gonna peel this puppy and, and break her up. All right, there you go. Right here. Hopefully you can see this, just go. Perfect. Now let's walk on over to the steak. Not the steak. The pork. And just like rub it on it basically. That's all you gotta do. And also pepper, duh. Salt and pepper, that was a lot of pepper. I'm gonna spread that out a little bit. Might have to. All right, our two fully seasoned steaks. This is the garlic salt pepper. This is the fancy schmancy. That's Will, thank you for filming. He's just like really creepy right there. <laughs> and we can let these sit for a little bit. Uh, I guess let the seasoning soak in a little bit. And then they're gonna hit the uh, hit the pan in what, 20, 30 minutes. It's gonna be delicious. All right, time to cook. The flash is on, I guess. And first I'm gonna start off with a bit of olive oil in the pan. Super hot pan on a nine. Bam, bam! Hopefully it doesn't, oh, that's hot. Spread it around. That's, that's, that's super hot. Super. Uh, Put that up in the dictionary. Professor, I'm actually gonna turn it down one. Um, and then, this is the seasoning that we got at the store. Just, that's such a nice sound. That's such a nice sound. Next thing, gotta move quick here. What is this ridiculous packaging of butter in Italy? Can't figure this crap out. Good term there, Chief. Burro. Don't need that much. I actually don't like a whole lot of butter. Just like there. More than that. No, that's all. I don't like too. I don't like too much. Let that melt down a little bit. All right, we're cooking. Just shake it around a little bit. I'll pick it up. Make sure. The olive oil uh, gets under the whole thing, gets encoded on the bottom. Let's actually, well, could you hold this real quick? Let's actually see the bottom of it right now. I'm just curious to how fast it browns. Okay. Do you see that? All right, I just flipped it. I want to get it looking like brown like that, kind of more in the middle too. So I'm gonna have to throw it back over a couple more times. All right, I think this sucker's about done. Bop! Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Might be good, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, same pan. Hey. <laughs> Andrew's, 
<laughs> dance party over here. About to put more olive oil in it. Drop this bad boy, same thing with the butter. Now the thing is, with pretty much every meat, after you take them out of the, off the, off the cooker, you wanna let them rest for a couple minutes. Andrew did not let that happen. Andrew came in here basically the second I put this on the plate and tried to eat some of it, but it was too hot. Gotta let it rest because the meat on the inside is still cooking. After I take this off and sit it here, it's gonna be still cooking. So let it rest. Alrighty, we dug right in. It's not bad, better than I expected to be honest with you. I could be honest, did not have high expectations, but. Oop. It's good, it's good. It's time, let's Let have a little, little bite. Here. So this is, I know my pork. Iowa pork. He is from producer. Iowa, and this Number is the one this is the garlic, the salt, pepper, easy schmeezy. Florentine style here. Florentine style pork. Oh, how the hell is it? Nah. One bite, man. One more bite. You need to try this, Professor. Oh. That's like an eight point six. Is it? All right, hold eight on. I'm gonna. Six. Can you record me to eating it? Mm-hmm. Okay. You gotta cut the piece for me. Bam. Here, I'll. We feed each other in room 304. That's immaculate. Those are y'all fam. Take it off the burner, unlike I did. Good stuff. All right, and answering the questions, a uh, brief history of Florentine steak, which I was supposed to make, but I made Florentine pork chops, which I've also seen on menus, but I don't know as much about them, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, Florentine steak is a really big thing here. Uh, it's been around a while. It hasn't been around as long as I guess we had in America, but you know, it's steak isn't really, um, a new thing. It's just a chunk of meat, right? So it's been around for quite some time, just like Florence has. I chose this because it's delicious. Uh, it was not hard to find any of the ingredients. Um, you saw me go grocery shopping. Well, I guess it was hard to find the garlic, but that was just in the grocery store. Um, you saw the basic steps. I actually did like the finished dish. Um, it surprised me. Um, I, w I wouldn't make it again just because I don't really like pork that much. And I probably wouldn't order it, but I would definitely try to make steak or a, uh, order a Florentine steak. Uh, 